hello again I have got some ideas new ideas first I will show you these that the part that was cut out last time I attached this little cabinet or little box with the faux glass lid on onto this front cover and added some some more uh, embellishments here um, let me show you how it works uh, it is attached glued down and it's under this handle so it kind of forms part of the box it's quite beautiful I think <laughs> and there are these hinges and this little metal knob when you open it there's this photograph and see the beautiful background over there mm, I also added these corners that one needs a little bit of glue corners of the same material the same paper so now it looks cohesive and this is just the handle so that it's easy to insert and take out and that's the background let's add a little bit of glue to that corner and then I realized a little bit everything is a little bit for me but <laughs> bear with me please <laughs> um, something small that I noticed that I can use and it is this next box with that lid that we already made mm, when you use different uh, the paper that has different position differently positioned boxes on the under under paper and then add this lid you see it creates more dimension underneath when there are those box frames showing and this is what I'm going to use today and this lid goes to this box and for the previous one I will probably make one or two of these this kind of lids and uh, what was it yes the closure because if I put the journal like this this photograph might fall off it doesn't know but it might so it needs a little a little <laughs> uh, closure and for that I decided that I'm going to make this little <laughs> little <laughs> card tab and add it to the stitched slots very difficult to pronounce here so that it keeps that lid closed so simple but uh, very useful uh, and also I, there's one of my new rusty paper clips I have now I have a ton of them I will show them later <laughs> when I have time for that uh, this one needs a background. I will find a piece of that paper here. This box is just the right size, so I will cut it and use it as background. Add a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of glue. <laughs> I have to. I have to find some other words to use <laughs> instead of a little bit. <laughs> okay. 
Let's continue. No giggling. There he. Like that. And then when it dries a little, <laughs> a little bit, I will cut it. Sorry. <laughs> this video is a disaster. <laughs> There and then just trim this tab here. Small sharp scissors are best for this this part of the work. And some ink. And I was laughing. It was hap a happy laugh. I have been working a lot and I might be somewhat tired, but it's happy tired because there will be a huge, at least quite a large collection very soon but it's a secret still I can't say anything else but it's something new totally new for me and I will tell you more more about it when I am um, able to there now that looks good then the paper clip and then put it here like that and then the other cards and I might need to cut these strings off. They are just too much here. There. That keeps the lid closed. And it says secret and maps and there will be lots of mystery inside and I have created uh, at least one or two snippet sheets for that. They are not yet listed but when you see this video they might be already listed. Here's one and I'm printing the other one right as we speak. Uh, they are quite small. They are adventurous club labels and they are designed to fit into these frames at least uh, the smallest ones. There are some blanks and then this one that says something like views, maps and sketches and the notes number 159. I think these are t blank two and there this is journal. But these are usable for for these boxes and let me show you the other one there this is made used using my uh, other labels that I have used these frames before but I've changed all the texts here I made this for my own use but if someone needs them they are in the shop. There are like interesting and, and exciting names and labels. It says location, confidential, duplicate, item number 75. Then there are some 
uh, abbreviations that I am not 100% sure what they mean, but but I will not try to. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are, but they look very interesting. Then there are inventory, archives, specimen, list of contents, dangerous, restricted, confidential, fossils, all those. And I'm going to use some of them in this lab book. But the smaller ones, I have already cut them and I need to ink the edges when I use them. Let's see what I can use there. Uh, let's put this aside for a while. And glue this on a card strip so that it's more Strong. This is quite thick cardstock. There. Now it looks a lot better. Like this. And then some, let's try what kind of snippets I could use here. I will add these underneath like that so that we'll get an idea. Like that. Number seven. Over there. And secrets. Come here, come here. Secret. What else could we use? Mm -hmm. I might have, yes, if I remember correctly, I made also larger ones. For example, this one here so that the text is more visible. But I want to use the smaller ones here in this box because they fit in better. This one we could use, for example, somewhere. <laughs> And confidential over there. And when I when I ink the edges, they will look a lot more authentic. Fi figure four. Is it figure? I suppose so. And plate nine somewhere. What else? Inventory. That was the word that I tried to find the other day, but I couldn't. <laughs> secret. Well, let's put one more secret somewhere. Invoice of specimens. Let's find some other other snippets too for variation. 
have these smaller snippets also. These are too big, but very conveniently there was this strip of these smaller ones. X, Y, Z. Sounds good. Let's use these two. And I will cut them, trim them and ink them and I'll be right back. And one more. Then let's place them. You could add some of these on on the lid. But which ones? Maybe a confidential. Let's put it here, the confidential. Won't work. Glue bottle. That looks quite good over there, and I will add some more. There. This will be one of the inner pages, inner covers. Make an embellishment page for the for the inside cover. It's crinkly and interesting and there's a little bit of mystery. And if I find some good items, I will add them underneath before I attach this. But this is okay for today and I will think about it and maybe continue with this. But I'm quite happy with it. I hope you are too. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.